In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a matrix in Google Docs. So there's not really a built-in feature to make a matrix in Google Docs, but there is a good method using the insert table feature, and that is what I'm going to show in this video. So the first thing you want to do is open your file and click in your file wherever you want to insert your matrix. And then what you're going to do is come up into the top and select insert table. Now in this video, I'm going to show how to create a three by three matrix. And so for that, what I'm going to do is set the dimensions of the table to five by one. So after you have done that, you will see that you have this table in your file. Now what you need to do is edit the borders on all of these so that basically what we want to do is we want to make the table smaller. So what you're going to do is click on each border and drag it to the left. So I'm going to click each one and try to make it uniform. And it looks a little off to me, so I'm just going to continue dragging everything to the left until everything looks a little more uniform. And that looks better to me. So now you will see that the size of your table has shrunk a lot and it's a lot smaller. That's what we want for our matrix. So then you can fill out the numbers that you want in your matrix. And what you'll be doing is you'll only be adding numbers to the second, third, and fourth columns. So I'm just going to add some numbers. So the second, third, and fourth columns. So what you may have to do is you may have to hit enter after each number just to bring the next number down the line. Uh, so those are the numbers that I'll just have in this example. <clears throat> now what we need to do is we need to select all of the borders for the second, third, and fourth columns of your table. So what you're going to do is click and then hold the shift key and keep clicking until you have every border of the second, third, and fourth column of your table highlighted. So I've held down the shift key the entire time and I have all of the borders highlighted for all of these middle columns. And then what you want to do is come up to border color and change it to white. And then you will see that the border color just changed for all of those to white. And now I have a matrix in my file. Now the matrix doesn't look perfect. Um, it doesn't look uniform and that's because when I was dragging the borders at the beginning um, it just wasn't uniform so if you really want it to look neat you'll have to spend some time at the beginning getting everything to look perfect but this is still a good way to get a matrix in your file so again in this example I've only done a 3x3 three three table if you want to do a different uh, a table of different dimensions, give that a try. I recommend starting with the three by three, and then after you're comfortable with that, um, you should be able to figure out on your own how to create tables of different dimensions. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.